Hi guys, it's Leslie from The Whole Shebang. I wanted to do this video really quickly. This is something that I'm always surprised that not everyone knows about this. I am doing a video today about making adjustments at any store, not just Target. Um, making an adjustment on a previously purchased item is completely legit and there's nothing wrong with it. If you purchase an item on February 1st, and it goes on sale usually most stores you have to find out the policy within 10 to 14 days and if you return it within 10 to 14 days um i'm sorry if it goes if the price has gone down within 10 to 14 days you can get what is called a price adjustment and i have done that frequently um they you should keep the receipt in your wallet which i usually do or what i have done at target is these were purchased a year ago so these are not even valid but if you go and see this dpci number what i tend to do is keep up on my computer one of my things is the brick seek in, uh, target inventory finder and once every sunday or monday i will go put in those dpci numbers for the items that i purchased for the last 10 to 14 days to see if any of them have dropped in price and if they have dropped in price Next time you go there, which has to be within 10 to 14 days, however, you bring just the receipt and you say, this is what I paid. You, you show them what you paid and how, what, and, and they will look it up and what the current price is and they will give you an adjustment. Back in the old days, you have to, you had to actually bring in the item. You don't have to do that anymore. So seeking a price adjustment is a great way. It is not always easy and it's not always, um, it's not always like, it's hard to do. I remember when my kids were younger. I would um, buy them, you know, like a toy or something and it would go on sale at, you know, I would buy it the first week of December and then at the third week of December, it would become discounted or clearanced or whatever. And I would send my husband back out to purchase the item again. And then I would return the previously purchased full quote unquote full price item, which again, there's nothing unethical or immoral or not right about that. It just makes good financial sense to do that. Um, because if they are charging you 100% for an item on day one and day and day 20, it goes down to 70%, 70% off or, you know, 50% off you, you're no longer within that price adjustment period. So you purchase the item on day 20 and then you return the item, which is still within the 90 days at target, or I, I don't do a lot of Walmart shopping, but most stores have a 30 day policy, a 30 day window. So if, as long as you're still within the window, you can purchase the item that you, you saw on day 20 and return the item that you purchased on day one, if that makes any sense to you. I'm not sure if that's a, a, a great example. Anyway, making price adjustments and um, returning previously purchased items and um, having bought them at a cheaper, uh, at a less expensive price for a couple of weeks down the road is a great idea. Um, it has saved my family money over the years and I highly recommend it that you start looking into this. I did do a video about the BrickSeek and how to look up the prices on BrickSeek. If you are someone who shops a lot at BrickSeek, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> a lot at Target, I highly recommend it because you can get price adjustments. There's nothing, that, I mean, it's just, it, it should be in the Target, on the Target website about seeking price adjustments. So check that out and make sure that, that the information I'm giving you is current information. Thank you so much for watching today. Please like and subscribe to this video if you like this kind of content. I really appreciate all my viewers. And thank you so much for coming and stopping by today. Thanks. Bye-bye.